if I am fighting evil, how can I defeat evil with evil? Like, what would be the evidence of my righteousness if I fought evil with evil? So if I am supposed to be as wise as a serpent, and the serpent was using the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Ten Commandments, the Holy Bible, and the Holy Quran to deceive the, the jury then wouldn't I have to use the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Holy Bible, the Holy Quran, the Ten Commandments, and self-defense? Now, why should I have to do anything in self-defense any different than Satan had to do in self-defense. Because now once, okay, now let's let's break this down now. Self-defense. See, because now once I defeated Satan and 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 his his God, now wouldn't they be a plea of justification for the use of force or for homicide? See, so wouldn't they be now in self-defense, which is why they then crucified Jesus? See, now, and said this, see, this is in self-defense. I'm, I'm going to show you here in uh, John 11, right? Now, this is, this is self-defense. This is the Bible telling you that what I'm saying, the church did against Jesus of neither of the Galilee your Lord and Savior in self-defense of his truth. Now, this is called the plot against Jesus. This is uh, John 11 in the King James Version of the Holy Bible, 45 through 47. It says, And then men of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did, believed on him. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, What do we? For this man, this man doeth many miracles. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him, and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. And one of them, named Caiaphas, being the high priest that same year said unto them, Ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people, and that the whole nation perish not. And this spoke he, he not of himself, but being the high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for that nation, and not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. Then from that day forth they took counsel together for to put him to death. Jesus therefore walked no more openly among the Jews, but went tents unto a country near to the wilderness into a city called Ephraim. Now that's E P H. R-A-I-M, so you, you decide how you want to pronounce it, and there continued with his disciples. And the Jews, the Jews see a pos, uh, 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 S at the end, so it's saying there's possession. A Passover was near at hand, and many went out of the country up to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. Then sought they for Jesus and spoke among themselves as they stood in the temple, what thank ye that we that he will not come to the feast? So see, he came to commemorate the freedom of the Israelites, so therefore showing he's an Israelite, and they see they say will he come, there's plotting. Now both the chief priests 
and the Pharisees had given a commandment that if any man know where he were, he should show it that they may take him. So right there, they are, they are looking for Jesus. The church is not looking for him to worship him. They are looking for him to kill him. See now, not only for that nation. See, that's that spiritual nation. See, uh, but both our place and nation. So see, Christianity is a nation. See, it's not a state. See, look, a nation. See, so this is what I'm telling y'all. This is why we sit because they are defending their nation. See, Pastor Willie C. Barnes in Edenville, Florida and Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church, he's he, um, defending his place and his religious nation. So see, all of those preachers, now they not going to come and save me because they didn't save Jesus. They saved their nation. So now, see, anytime you come with truth into a place that had to kill your Lord and Savior but so that Rome or America or any other state won't come come and come take their place, then see, they don't care nothing about you. They don't care nothing about America. He care about Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church in Edenville, Florida. That's all Pastor Bullard C. Barnes care about because that is what makes him somebody. See, without that scripture, who would he be? He would have to give you testimony of who he is like I'm giving you testimony of who I am and like Jesus did the things that you testify about. Right? So I'm not saying that Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee is not real. I'm saying that Jesus Christ is not real. See, I'm not saying Dr. Martin Luther King is not real. I'm saying his dream has not been fulfilled. See, I'm not saying that the United States of America is not real. I'm saying that the American dream is not a reality for all Americans. That's all I'm saying because I am an American and I am also a um, liver of Dr. Martin Luther King's dream and I'm also a, a, um, a seer of his nightmare. See, I'm saying I lived his dream and now I'm living his nightmare that you who um, masquerading as the, of the government of the United States of America is not the government for all citizens. See, you are the government for those who lobby you. See, you don't care about poor people. You care about their vote. See, their vote is what give you your position. So you will lie to them every four to six years. You see what I'm saying? You will lie to them to get that vote. But once you get the vote, you don't have to come back to them for four or six more years. So see, in that time, you are gathering riches that they cannot quantify. So see, you are their father in government, right? So when they send, or you are their mother in government. So if you are not um, doing the business of the people, then you are doing business to then deceive the people. So now that's why America has no rights because the government of America is on trial by a king that they had forced to become a king. See, just like in the beginning of, 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 of the United States of America, when it was 13 colonies, it went from 13 colonies, right? That was the Omega, and the beginning was the 13 states. So see, America came from war. Where was the promissory note? So now America gave me a promissory note and they violated the, um, the sections in the promissory note, right? So then I charged America for aid and abetting the contract preparer which is the stripes. See, look, 
Okay, a nation, first of all. A nation. Nationality. Okay? Nationality is an ethnic group constituting one element of a larger unit, such as a nation. So now, an ethnic group of or relating to a large group of people classed according to common racial, national, tribal, religious, linguistic, or cultural origin or background. See, so that's all of us. But see, in the beginning of us, it didn't specify color. It said it's kind. So that means we was a human kind. But the beast, right, then made us ethnic. See, of or relating to a larger groups of people classed. See, when did, when did he class us? He made us a kind. See, class. A body of students meeting regularly to study the same subject. Right? So poverty is a class. See, poor people is in that subject. We students of poverty. You understand? That's why when we go to school, hey, man, we in there hungry. And you looking at us like we should be um, engaged. But you become hungry and you keep your focus and you hungry. See what I'm saying? See, but you have uh, what they call discretionary um, food. See, you can squander and you can say what you don't like. But see, when I was growing up, if you didn't like it, then you didn't eat it. But it wasn't nothing else to eat. So when you didn't, like, I don't like liver. When my grandmama cooked liver, I didn't eat meat that night because the meat was liver. <coughs> excuse me. So, <coughs> excuse me. So it's not like, when when I was when, when now, well my wife uh, cook because I don't eat pork. They do, so she would cook me, my meat, and she would cook them pork. But we had discretionary meat uh, uh, foods because we could afford to do that, right? So now here I am. Being the father, if I was such a tyrant like the government of America is telling us what we can't do, but they violating our constitutional rights as they tell us what we can't do, why they doing it. See, so now I'm showing that even in my house, my family had choices. See, because my economy allowed them to have choices. So I'm letting my family know where you had those choices because of the way that I was um, managing our incomes. So see, now once my daughter would have, uh, see like, but at first I'm teaching her how to save. See what I'm saying? Now you say, well, I thought you say don't save. Uh, you know, you want to put something in your memory bank. But in order to have that memory, you have to have the necessary resources. So you have to save in order to spend to, to accomplish the memories that you um, store, right? Like you store the money. But the difference is you're saving money to then um, uh, purchase the memory. See what I'm saying? Now, now what, what they saying is you save this money so when you get old, then you will be able to sustain, right? But what I'm saying is that's when you're going to become bitter because you're going to have money and you're going to realize you don't have as much time, right? Or quality of time because now you have ailments of all the times that you worked, right, without giving your body a break. See, that's what my wife taught me about um, vacation time. See, I thought that was like personal time. But see, vacational time and personal time, two different times. See, personal time is for you. 
vacation time is for your family. That's when you, the wife, and the children go and bond. See what I'm saying? I didn't know nothing about that because we were together all the time because nobody worked. <laughs> so what would I know about bonding? We bonded all the time. You know what I mean? My dad, I ain't never know my dad to have a job. Prison. <laughs> that was the only time my dad was gone. He's in prison. You know what I mean? And he broke up out of there. <laughs> my, my daddy got escape charges. <laughs> so that that what I'm saying, man. My daddy, my hero. So if my daddy escaped, I'm going to escape too. How you going to put me and my daddy escape? Well, he told me how not to have to escape. And that's what I was telling him. I'm saying with daddy, if you got caught and had to escape, then I got to look at how you got caught so I won't have to escape, right? If I don't get caught, then what I got to escape. But see, now the people who tried to catch me, now they can't escape because they tried to catch me and I was looking for them. See, that's why I say, when do you defeat the devil, right? And then I ask people that and they like, they don't know or they say whatever they say. And I'm saying there's no wrong answer because it's your devil, right? But I'm telling them when I defeated my devil was the day before I saw him. See, because think about it. If somebody's plotting against you, and if you don't see the plot before the plot is 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 implemented, then you gonna become um, a victim of the plot that was plotted against you because you not ready, you wasn't ready for it. But when you become ready for the plot by preparing for the unforeseen, right? Then you ready when you see what you didn't know, but you knew it was there, but you didn't see it. You see what I'm saying? So I was preparing for any eventuality, right? It didn't matter what it was. I was making sure that I was legal. So no matter what it was, it didn't matter. See what I'm saying? But, but if I was searching and looking and I'm outside of the law, now, no matter what, they going to get me because of the way that I was walking wasn't legal. I was walking after something. I wasn't walking on something. See, so see me, every time that I'm doing something, I consult the way to do it. So that way, as I'm doing it, I'm accomplishing something. You see what I'm saying? So if I took my family 10 miles, right? I would rather it be 10 legal miles, right? So then my son and my daughter and my wife could go the next mile and know that if they did sway off, they can come back and they'll come back to a legal mile. See, but now if I would have did what they did and, and we got 10 miles but it was illegal, and then they started going, now nah, they don't go back to the 10 mile, they go back to the beginning, because that's when they realized that way I got them was, to was illegal. See, and that's what's happening with the so-called wealthy families of America. See, you uh, took people's land as King George, then you as King George property, right, then succeeded from King George. But what about the property that you stole in the form of land when you was property of King George? See, that's what the 13 states don't realize, that when you were 13 colonies, you were still on stolen land. But now once you won yourself back, then you kept the land that the king stole. See, now that God that you said delivered you from your king, well, what about my Indian ancestors? What about my African ancestors? See, now I, for whom are their God, 
is now delivering them from your God. And I'm showing that you, Satan, and you are a rebellious angel. See, now, see, you're, you're this right here. See, see, you the second definition of Satan now. See, the first definition, you was the angel who in Jewish belief. See, that's Jewish. That's what Jesus was before Christianity. He was a Jew. See, and the Jews who was commemorating the Passover decided not to let a Jew commemorate freedom. See, that's what y'all not understanding. So now they decided who was in the Exodus. Right there, the high priest, they throw Jesus out, a righteous man. Now, how then can Christianity be a righteous religion when it, when it was done on a criminal act? They said that they knew that what they were doing was against the laws that was established for them to stay free. So now, if the Israelites went into slavery because they violated the laws of God, which is Moses' Ten Commandments, then how did they not go into prison for life, for killing Jesus, for whom is God's son, if he gave them the Ten Commandments and said, thou shall not kill? So now here's the church lying on Moses, and they have created a God for Satan, which is the God of the high priest Caiaphas. So now, wouldn't the high priest Caiaphas be Satan by definition? See, he's a Jew. The high priest Caiaphas is a Jew. So see, he had a God, and Jesus is now your Christian God. See, so Jesus is now your Lord and Savior. Now, who is that? That's Catholic. See, Christianity is based off the Catholic Church. That's who established Christianity. How else did the Rome become the church if it wasn't Catholic? It's Roman Catholic Church. So now, if that is when the king became a Christian, when did the king learn from a poor man, right? See, so see, I come from poverty. That's why money is not um, valuable to me. My wife, my church, see, my property, my people, my, my, uh, my DNA, my legacy, my alpha, everything is, was at stake. So if I was not the source of my God, then how would my God have a source? See, you say Jesus is your Lord, but now let me show you. Then then you are in a, re a rebellious angel who in Christian belief is the adversary of God and the Lord of evil. Because how could you, one, be a Jew like Jesus was, right? So if Jesus was a Jew and he was commanded by God, and according to scripture, the Lord made Moses a God to Pharaoh. They was in Jerusalem commemorating the actions of Moses. There go Moses is the God. Now, who is the Lord? You understand that made Moses a God. See, this is what the, the Christian don't understand. See, that religion is, is is not Christianity. Christianity is a practice based off of religion, the Jewish religion. So now, when, if, like my, I'm establishing my religion, right? Well, how would you know my standards when you're not my child, you're not my wife? You, you, how do you know? So now you're going to try to take my books and say that you are of my religion. But according to my religion, you have to be a castle and you have to be four. See, that's why I changed my religion from four castles and I made it a business 
Chancey Incorporated. So now where my religion is a job. See, because I had to work to become me. I had to, I'm self-made. See what I'm saying? So in order for you to become me, you have to be self-made as well. See, self made such by one's own actions. So you tell me who made me. Who made me wealthy beyond legal measure if it wasn't me? Because I'm the only one that know my economic plan. So if I'm the only one know my economic plan, how could somebody else teach the practice of me other than me for whom practice being me? See, because I had to learn how to be what you will practice. So I had to practice perfect. So when I give it to you, it's perfect practice. <laughs> See what I'm saying? See, I am a perfect practice where you make no mistakes. You don't, you, 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 you make every tackle, you make every block. See, I am a perfect practice who, who uh, perfected his practice in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning is when Tommy Chancey Castle Sr. became perfect. See, that's when I went into court and I displayed myself perfectly. Everything that I had practiced, I had put into action. And I became the beautiful person I am because of beautiful people. See, I was in ugliness and in my ugliness, I was ugly. But when I saw something beautiful, just like Eve saw that the fruit was, was pleasant to her eyes, when I saw my wife, I saw her like Eve must have saw that fruit because I started protecting the beauty that I saw. See, I didn't consume it. I, I didn't hold it and choke it out. See, I just loved it because it loved me. And I gave it the opportunity to love me. See, for me, I didn't force it like my daddy forced my mama. See, I'm saying you could leave me, but I just want you to know you leave in love. See, so when you come back, you know you coming back to what you left. See, that's why I don't lust after women because this was not that type of lesson. See, I'm not teaching my wife that she wasn't a wife. I'm showing my wife that she is my wife and that I never wanted nobody else other than her. See, I don't look at other women and want to replace my wife. I look at other women and say that, man, my wife can't be replaced. So that's why I do not take a second of lust and lose love for a lifetime. See, I want to get back the most important thing I left. See, money can leave you, but love you're blessed to find. If you can find love, man, I'll leave all the money that I ever hoped to make to be love for one second, and I know that it's love. But see, once you have money, don't nobody love you. They love the lifestyle, but they won't help you make the life, right? Say a basketball player, right? Well, his lady don't go with him and throw balls and, and, and no. See what I'm saying? So that might be the reason why he keep doing it because now it's a job. It's not a game no more. This is how he feed himself. This is how he feed his family. Now, a fool will, wouldn't make the transition from a practice to a game. See what I'm saying? Now, when you become a professional, that's no longer a game. That's a job. That's a way of life. That's a religion. See, and then that's why people like Michael Jordan, those people that didn't make that transition and understand 
that this is how I take care of my family and I got to be the best weapon I could be because I'm a warrior. See, that's what people who do jobs don't understand. When you on a job, you a warrior. And if you don't look at it like that, you won't come back with the food. See what I'm saying? See, like hunters are warriors in tribes, right? So when the food is low, the hunters go hunt. But it lead back the, some warriors who are actually hunters too, but they got to defend the tribe. So you don't leave all, you don't, all the warriors don't go because who going to then protect the family? So see, this is what I'm saying to the man. When a man has lost himself, then he don't understand that now he is supposed to be everything that he would have had if he was a king, right? So if you was a king, you will be able to delegate authority. You will have enough men and women and children that you have to make up a plan for everybody's protection and for everybody's edification, right? Because everybody got to eat, right? So now, back in the days, it wasn't more so of the mind it, because you needed somebody to be out there growing the food. You need to be somebody to go out and hunt. You need to have somebody cook the food. You had to have somebody take care of the children. You see what I'm saying? So everybody had a job within the tribe. But see what happened was when the slave master came, defeated the king, then the slave master became the provider of his property. Then therefore now warriorship has to become innate. It has to be in you. So that's why they beat it out of you or they kill it. See, so if they can't um, use you, they have to remove you from those that they use.